Hello everyone, how are you? Here you go, the match we saw for Monday Night Raw for June the 20th, 2022. Raw has six matches this week. Three are worth watching, two are not, and one I can't tell you if it is good or not because Jay Uso took on Daniel Dawkins, like I said in my previous video. I'm done watching the Usos perform on both Raw and SmackDown. I don't even care if they're on Raw talking and SmackDown to fight somebody or vice versa. I'm done with it. I'm sick of seeing the Usos twice a week on TV. Um, Daniel Dawkins have won the match with a sit-down spine buster that D.O. Brown used to do. Uh, now on to the two matches that are not worth watching. Um, Matt Riddle took on Almas in a Money in the Bank qualifying match. Awful match. Because Almas was in it. Like, Matt Riddle did the best he could to make this match worth, match worth watching. But the fans and attendance had no like, excitement level at all for this match. Almas applied a bear hug. Middle... Broke free of it, fought free, ran at him, almost grabbed a hold of him. We applied the bear hug, again, Riddle got free. Hit the jump up knee underneath the chin, stunned almost. Then he went off the top rope to do a uh, move. And almost, being almost, wasn't in position. So Matt Riddle basically crashed the burn on the mat, never touched him. Then almost stood there for three minutes, and he's like, oh yeah, me supposed to do something. Then he grabbed hold of himself, walked himself with the turnbuckle like he had got hit for that top rope move. First off, he never got touched. Second off, you're three minutes behind making it look good. Almost counted RKO and won it with a double hand choke slam. Why in the hell did they give Almost money in the bank opportunity? Matt Riddle put on one hell of a match against Roman Reigns on SmackDown last week and he loses to Almost on Raw. That's telling me right there they got no plans for Riddle, which is a shame. And. Can you push to almost climb on a ladder? He's going to climb it, then stop, and look like dumbfounded and stunned. Then he's going to probably climb up a couple rungs and climb back down again. Be like, oh yeah, ladder match. Me supposed to climb up ladder and not climb down it. It's just like watching a coconut tree try to wrestle. And there ain't no talent in that whatsoever. AJ Styles took him on Tomasa Champa one-on-one. -on -one. This came about after Miz TV segment in a game Tomas Chipper just attacked somebody. This time it was AJ Styles. Very short match. Nothing very exciting happened. Uh, and if it's predictable, you knew AJ was going to be fighting somebody. So he came out on Miz TV wearing his wrestling gear. Um, AJ hit his punch, kick, strike combo on Chempa. Hit a nice flying clothesline. Chempa hit a running knee, knocking AJ off the apron to the floor. Um, AJ went for the Styles class. Champa countered it, knocked him down. Then AJ won with a phenomenal forearm. With like a 30 seconds after that. After the match, he Styles class the Miz for the heck of it. Now on to the matches on Raw that are worth watching. I got in that match. The almighty Bobby Lashley took on the Alpha Academy and Austin Fury. If he had beaten all three guys, the next week he gets the United States title match against Austin Fury. He faced Chad Gable first. He ran f for the spear. Gable um, countered it, knocked him down. I got a top hole, I got a toe hole takedown on his leg. Applied the ankle lock. He had that on for a good like four minutes, almost five. The last thing, just screaming in agony. He lastly, finally got free of it. Um, Chad Gable just knocked him back down. German suplexed him. Almost won the match with a nice top rope moonsault, but lastly, just kicked down the nick of time. Then Lashley won by submission with the Master Lock. After that, Otis attacked him. because Otis was next in the gauntlet match. Otis kicked his ass. Like, Otis had a running splash on the outside. Tossed him really hard back first to the barricade. Threw him face first. And shoulder first to the turn by, uh, ring post. Went hauled off and just kicked him right in the midsection. Then um, Lashley went for the clothesline. Otis barrel road. Ducked it, turned up, got up, and just blasted Lashley with the clothesline of his all. Then uh, Lashley uh, went for the master lock, but he couldn't hook on hook Otis into it, so he spared him. And Chad Gable attacked him, so Bobby Lashley won by disqualification to advance to the third person, which was Austin Fury, the current United States champion. Before Fury made his entrance, coming out of the ring, um, the Alpha Academy had a double team German suplex running splash on Lashley. Austin Fury got in, grabbed hold of him, went for the TKO. Lashley cricket countered it for the one two freeze. So Bobby Lashley wins, goes on next week to face Fury for the United States title. Check out the Gauntlet match, folks. It was very good. Now, 
A fatal five-way number one contenders match to face Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's title. Now, I know what you're thinking. Rhea Ripley's number one contender. Well, apparently, they're not even saying nothing. She's not even saying why she's injured on Twitter. She's just saying, I'll be back soon. So maybe this is, uh, I don't know, something's going on. Maybe they got a plan. I don't know. So Bianca had to have a new appointment for Money in the Bank when she defends her Raw Women's Championship. So Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan, Becky Lynch, Asuka, and the returning Carmella. And folks, Carmella did not wear that goddamn awful mask. I was happy. Um, Great Fatal Five way these five women put on to start off the show Raw. Amazing match. Check it out. Carmella was on fire. She, I was, um, hit with Alexa Bliss down hard. Like, I'm surprised Alexa didn't get a concussion from how hard uh, Carmella just whipped her down. Uh, and then she tossed Liv off the top rope, knocking down all the other free women outside the ring. Alexa hit rapid fire forearms, and Becky Lynch had no effect. What's her? Becky just absorbed all those forearms and then just hit a nice over explosive suplex on her. Liv got in. Chrissy took down Becky Lynch. Oscar got in. Hit a nice spin kick on Alexa Bliss. Just knocked her right out of commission. Um, Liv Cricket hit Code Breaker on Becky. Oscar applied the Oscar lock on Carmella. Alexa broke it up with the knees to the gut. Um, Alexa hit Twist of Bliss off the top rope because Becky was covering Oscar. And I don't know where I. It was just amazing how Alexa Bliss. Ran by, jumped off the top rope, twisted bliss to break up the pinfall. Um, Alexa hit a second twisted bliss. Liv cricked the guy. Liv got her knees up. Then suddenly, Carmella slid into the ring, super kicked Alexa Bliss down, pinned Liv. Um, and she pinned who was it? Oh, sorry. She slid in, tossed Alexa Bliss outside, and super kicked Liv Morgan for the one, two, three. So now we got Carmella. Versus Bianca, Money in the Bank. The last match to talk about. We were supposed to have this match was Becky and Asuka in a Money in the Bank qualifying match. They still put that match on as the main event. Very really good match. But I'm sick tired of seeing these two win them on the main event. Like They were main event Raw like three times last month. One week after the other. We had like maybe two weeks when they didn't main event Raw. Now they're back to main event Raw. Like Give it up. Like You ran its course with these two main events. Um, Becky attacked Oscar on stage. They brawled for a few minutes. Oscar hit a nice hip attack, knocking Becky to the outside through the ropes. Um, she attempted a code breaker. She didn't connect with it at all. Becky did the best she could to sell it. Becky, uh, tripped Oscar on the top rope, the center to the outside very hard to get a rest in the corner. Oscar dodged a leg drop, hit a shining wizard. That was nice and well done. Then she did her like spinning back fist combo strike she did. Um, Becky grabbed a hold of her, hit the exploder suplex. Um, Oscar quickly hit an other hip attack. Becky quickly kicked her out of the to the outside. Becky applied the Oscar lock on Oscar. And Oscar quickly got out of it. That was cool to see now. Becky sent Oscar into the metal turnbuckle face first. And then Becky started hauling off and started kicking away at her. Oscar just came off the top rope with a nice pistol perfect drop kick. Um, both women tried to do like one pinfall, like one would pin the other one, one two, the other one kick out quickly, pin the other one. Oscar got up, hauled off, and spit kicked Becky Lynch, and Becky just went down like a tree. And then Oscar won. So Oscar's in Money in the Bank now, joining Liv Morgan. Alexa Bliss from Monday Night Raw. On SmackDown, it's Lacey Evans. And Miguel Gonzalez. And on SmackDown this week, it's Chelsea Blackheart versus Aaliyah. The winner of that would join the other winner. And there's one slot remaining, which apparently is for Charlotte Flair. I hope not. I hope it's somebody else. Um, there you go, folks. Definitely check out the Fatal Five Way Contenders match featuring the five winner. Definitely check out Becky versus Asuka. And definitely check out the Gauntlet match. Stay safe, everybody. Too sweet. Bye.